visit svgcuts.com slash blog for tons of free SVGs, video tutorials, inspirational ideas, and the lowest price on Sure Cuts A Lot software. Okay, so now that I've introduced you to the various windows and panels, let's dive right in and start using some of them. I'm going to show you how to add characters to your mat using fonts that are already installed on your computer. In a later video, I'll show you how to download and install fonts that you can find for free on the internet. But in this video, we'll just use the ones that are already installed. In order to start placing any type of type or text on your mat, we need to click on the Type tool located in this Tools panel here. In doing so, you'll notice that we have all of these different settings related to text here in this Properties window. I'm going to take my cursor and hover over the mat, and you'll notice that the cursor turns into crosshairs with the letter T on it, and that just means that we have the Type tool selected. I'm going to go ahead and click on my mat, and when I do that, you'll notice that there's a blinking cursor. Just like in a word processor, you've got that blinking cursor, and that means that it's ready for your input. So I'm going to type in a word, on my keyboard here. Okay, once I've got my word laid out, I'm going to click on the selection tool. Now when I click on the selection tool, you'll notice that there's a group of handles surrounding my word. Each handle has a different function. The handle on the upper left here, if I click and hold it, it allows me to drag my word around on the mat. This one here allows me to move it only up and down. This one here allows me to rotate. This one allows me to stretch it. This one allows me to, to actually make it bigger, both width and height. This one allows me to stretch it. This is another rotational one. And this one allows me to move it left and right. Now I want you to notice that as long as the selection tool is highlighted and we have our word selected, all of these options here can be used to modify this element. Watch, as soon as I deselect this element, all of these options disappear. Now if I click on it, I can go over here and I can click on the bold to make it bold, italic. I can increase its size like this. Instead of using the handle, I can click on these buttons here. You can actually type in manual values as well by highlighting in here and just typing, let's say, the number 3 and pressing enter on your keyboard. Can increase the width of each letter, the tracking or the space between them, and the vertical offset, as well as the rotation. Here you can actually type in the values manually for each letter, or you can just click on these buttons. And here we have the horizontal align. If you click on this, it will align it left, center, right, top, middle, bottom. So this is just a small sampling of, of what you can do in this properties panel. Now I'm going to take my word love and I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard and remove it. Another way of adding type on your mat is by using the font table. So we're going to start the same way. We're going to click on the type tool. We're going to click on our mat. And now instead of typing, we're going to go over to this window here. And if you don't see it, you can go under Window and click on Font Table, and that will bring this window up. So I'll close it, go to Font Table, and there it is. Now, this is basically a visual representation of your keyboard. So every character or every symbol that is included in the font Arial, which we've selected here, will be displayed in this font table. And we can type the word love just as we did on our keyboard, but instead we can do it using these buttons. Now this method is really handy when working with symbols and shapes, especially with dingbat fonts, which we'll discuss in a later video. So I'm going to take my word here and make it a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to show you how to add library shapes. If you don't see this window labeled Basic Shapes here, you can bring it up by going under Window and clicking on Shapes Library. And I'll close it so I can show you. Sure Cuts A Lot comes with a few built-in libraries, and I'm going to show you how to use them. 
Clicking on the Shapes dropdown will display all of the libraries that are built in. You can add your own libraries and we'll discuss that in a later video, but for now we're going to stick with the basic shapes. To add a shape to the mat, we want to deselect anything that we may have highlighted by just clicking away from it, and we're going to click on this heart. Doing so places it on the mat, and we can use these handles to make it bigger, stretch it out, rotate it. I'm going to place the heart here, and I'm going to take my word, make it a little bit smaller, I'm going to place it right on top, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit as well. Now you'll notice that we have two elements. We have the heart and we have the word, and they are separate elements. If I move it, you'll notice that one moves and the other doesn't. Now what you can do, and this is a little bit advanced, and we'll get more into this in a later video, but if you click and hold to drag a box around both elements and select them both, you can go to Object, and you can click Group. Now that's going to basically allow you to move everything together. It basically makes everything one shape. And now, finally, I want to show you here that you can actually preview what the cut is going to look like by clicking on this button here, this preview button. The red lines indicate exactly where your cutting machine is going to cut.